we're excited about this because this is the largest right. high school solar car event in the Western Hemisphere. As a matter of fact, the largest solar car event in the Western Hemisphere. We've got teams coming from all around the country, from Oregon, California, New York, Florida, and every place in between. And the whole idea is to show that you can use the sun to be able to produce a moving product out there. And it's been very successful. We've got two categories of vehicles. We've got the vehicle that has the solar cells on it, and then we have the uh, new, more relevant type of system that has a power system where you get the energy into a battery pack, transfer it to your car, and then you drive and you come back and exchange battery pack. Our schedule is that they would come observe one of these events during the summer and then start the building process. We have a new team's workshop in September. We have various stages where they learn how to design and plan their project, set up a budget, learn how to talk about it and raise money, buy the materials, build it, test it, and then come out here and race it. That's about a 12 to 15 month cycle. This year on an odd numbered year, we meet at the world famous Texas Motor Speedway that over four days, the team that approves the largest number of laps during that time is the winner in each one of the divisions. On uh, even number years, we go cross country. We've seen the amount of miles added up over the years from uh, maybe 5% over the, the, the years each year, and we've gone from like 200 laps to about 600 laps now, which is, is really pretty significant. I'm excited because I see the footprint and the imprint that we're having on the kids who are taking part in this. Over the years since we started this in 1990, we have to this year now working with 50,000 kids. And to see that spilling over into some of the areas around here, we started a Canadian team this year. As I said, we have teams in Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Costa Rica, and Bahamas. And then when they actually get here, that's what's incredible. Because for them, it's truly an, a, a, an exploration. I remember when uh, my own high school solar team raced in Australia three times. It was the getting there that was the impressive thing. 